السلام عليكم كي دايرين مرحبا في فيديو جديدة well this time we're going to talk about numbers we'll uh, learn to count from 1 to 10 this is for 1 and it has two forms masculine and feminine so in masculine you say واحد واحد with a strong ح واحد and the feminine form is وحده وحده if you're speaking about uh, a man you say واحد of a woman you'll say you say وحده here you have from two to five so we say جوج ثلاثة أربعة خمسة أربعة may look difficult See if you have difficulties with it, you can begin with a little shwa. Rba. Juj, tsa, rba, khimsa. And now from six to ten. Sta, sba, tsmnya. Take care of this. Tsud, tsud. And finally, ashra. Ashra with strong a. So, sta, sba, tsmnya, tsud, ashra. Wahad, juj, tsatsa, rba, khamsa. Sta, sba, tsmnya, tsud, ashra. Now, notice that with wahad, uh, which stands for one, we can use it united to the article in order to have an indefinite article. A thing. For example, if you say واحد الكاس واحد الكاس is a glass a glass of water or whatever you want to drink واحد الكاس This means a glass Now you want to say two glasses You have to use جوج and the plural of كاس which is كيسان جوج كيسان جوج كيسان two glasses uh, you saw that the, the, the plural is normally not predictable from the singular. So, your answer to a question, how do you say glass in Arabic, should not be kas alone, but kas kisan. Try always to memorize singular and plural. Okay, now we'll try to say three cars. From three to ten, you have to introduce the particle d, which is a kind of off. So, literally, three of the automobilat uh, cars. Tleta, the automobilat. Tleta, the automobilat. Automobilat is the plural of automobile. It's a feminine plural, which is used in this case. Automobile, automobilat. Plates. One plate in the singular is tipsil. Tipsil. The plural is what is called technically um, uh, a broken plural, it's basil. So, four plates will have to say arba dit basil. Carpets. The singular is zarbiya. Zarbiya. The plural, which is a broken plural, is zrabi. Zrabi. So, khimsa zrabi. Khimsa zrabi is five carpets. Now we're talking about uh, a very frequent word, which is tajin. Tajin has, uh, in fact, a double meaning. It can be a, a stew, a, mo a Moroccan stew, which you will eat very frequently. But tajin is also the name of the, the pot in which you cook your stew. Both cases, the singular is tajin, and plural is tajin. Simana. Semana is a week. It comes from Spanish semana. The plural is semanat. So, sba semanat, sba semanat, seven weeks. This is a word you already know. Rajil. Rajil stands for man or husband. Remember, Rajli. The plural of Rajal is Rjal. 
So, tsmenya drjal. Tsmenya drjal. Eight men. This is another word you already know. Mra. A woman. You remember? Mrati. My wife. So, tsud del ayalat. Tsud layalat. The plural is uh, very irregular. It's from another root. But the plural of mra is ayalat. Ayalat. Take care to the ayin. Tsud layalat. Nine women. We now have a new word. Mra. Mra. With a double R. It's not mra. Mra. Mra, which means one time. Here we have Ashra del Mirat. Mirat is the plural of Mirra. So Ashra del Mirat, Ashra del Mirat, ten times. Now we have to introduce uh, short forms of the numerals, the numbers from three to ten, which are used only with some very few words which doesn't use the particle de. For example, yom, day, plural is iyan. You say tzitziyam. Tzitziyam stays for three days. Now we have also shar. Shar is a month. Its plural is shor. So you have to say rba shor. Rba shor. Four months. Am is a year and it has a very strange plural which is snin. So you say snin, five years. Simana, which you already know, you can say st simanat, st simanat, six weeks. But we saw that you can also say sta this simanat. Sit simanat. Sba swaya. So swaya is the plural of sa'a. Sa'a is an hour. Plural swaya. Sba swaya is seven hours. With tmin you can say tmin shor. Eight months. Ashra, you can Ashriyam, ten days, or Ashrinin, ten years. 